So welcome to this guys logarithmic question. We are told to make P the subject of the formula. So you take logarithm both sides in this equation. Log of x y power p is equal to log of q power p x. So by rules of logarithm, when you take a logarithm of, of, of a product number, it is the same as adding those numbers. So log x plus log of y power p is equal to log of q power p x. Whereby you can bring this in, in, in front here. Next step is uh, uh, next step here. What I did is uh, I collected the tabs with p together. So you have log x, which is equal to p x log q minus p log of uh, y. Now you can factor p outside, so you have p into bracket x log of q minus log of y. Uh, you divide by then from there now because you want to make p the subject, you divide both sides by log by x log of q minus log of y, whereby now p will be this value. So the recap: take logarithm both sides of this equation. You take logarithm both sides. Also, make use of the product rule of logarithm, whereby when you are multiplying two numbers and you take their logarithm, it is the same as adding them. Also, you make use of the indices, whereby when you have log of a number, the index can be taken in front of, before the log. So that is where you have written, instead of log q power px, I have written the px multiplied by log q. Instead of log of y power p, you can write it as p log of y. Here. Here it means, then you collect the next term together, log x is equal to p log of q, px log of q minus p, this p here, log of y. Then you factor p outside so that you have p into bracket x log of q minus log of y. Then you divide both sides by x log of q by that's log of y. And when you do that, you are going to be left with this value here. So this question, make use of the following rules that log of y power p is the same as p log of y and also log of q px is the same as uh, px log of q so that is what we have made use in that uh, particular case there that log of yp is the same as p log of y log of p power x is the same as px log of q. That is what we are employing there. And also, when you have log of xy power p power p, this is the same as log of x plus log of yp. So those are the simple rules we have made use here to make uh, P the subject of the formula. On more such learning on how to make P the subject of the formula, kindly tune on to my YouTube channel so that we may learn together on how to make P the subject of formula. Remember to tune to my channel so that we may learn together in this simple uh, method, simple step whereby we simplify mathematics for you. Uh, may I find any view which you could have on how to make this presentation better, and I will be more than willing to share with you. Remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss, miss a single video which you upload for us every day. Bye-bye. See you in the next presentation as we keep on learning.